Hello everyone, I am back with another action ship tutorial. Uh, first of all, thank you guys so much. I got 199 subscribers and uh, I got tons of messages for making new videos. So here I am. I was actually busy with my exams, so for one and a half, for the past one and a half months, I didn't made one. So what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna load these two SW file into our flash files. Uh, if you remember this, we made this file using ActionScript. You can refer to my videos on how to make a moving card animation, like this one, and how to make a tab button using ActionScript. Uh, links are given below. So what we're gonna do is uh, click on ActionScript 3.0 and then type the layer name as components <coughs> okay so now go to components if you cannot find components here uh, click on windows and then you can go to here components or just click on control plus F7 okay so now we're gonna need is a list so you'll be seeing three folders uh, click on UI user interface and then uh, click on this uh, list okay and drag and drop it here on our stage so basically we will be using uh, two data items in our list that will be first will be our car.swf and second will be tap so click on this and change its instance name to uh, anything you can change it to anything by I'm changing it to list and now click on this data provider this pen mark <coughs> sorry about that you'll be seeing uh, a dialog box so now you can add data values by uh, click on this plus or minus button so we have two data items so click in twice so label could be anything label is what you uh, get I mean what is shown to you so car animation and the file name is car.swf <coughs> and the second one is uh, tapping and the file name is tap.swf hit ok now we need uh, another layer call this actions but before that uh, go into this component layer and we need to provide a, a UI so go to components back to components and drag and drop this UI loader it's just below this so what UI loader is basically it's a, a user interface loader uh, whatever your files are here are shown here will be shown inside this UI loader screen okay you get the idea of course you can uh, just change the width and the height of this list by clicking on this list and then changing from under position and size menu by drag and dropping this like you get the idea So now let's go to our actions layer. Oh, I just forgot to change uh, its instance name. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, go to instance name, properties menu, and click on UL, UL, not UI. Sorry. Okay. And now go to actions layer, click on actions. Now we're gonna type a little bit of code here. We're gonna type a uh, list, which was the instance name of our list. You can name it anything. You can name Anuj or anything. Dot add event listener. If you don't know anything about add event listener, you can uh, just refer to my previous videos. Uh, they are good. So what event we're gonna uh, uh, do is event dot change and the second argument in the event listener is the function let's call this function func let's make a function func 
so this is a function definition of func if you don't know anything about function either uh, you can just refer to my videos it's uh, given in the playlist below uh, so the argument is e of the type event of course so you'll be seeing that uh, flash has imported the event class the event class automatically okay this you need to save this file right now uh, and you need to save this file in the same folder in which your SWF file are saved okay so now what we're gonna add is UI actually it's UL the instance name of our UL loader UI loader you can name it UI UL whatever my name was UL dot source equals and within uh, double quotation marks uh, you need to write the name of the file that you want to load for example if I want to load this car file I'll write it car dot SWF so write down car dot SWF let's save it let hit run control enter let's see if no there's no error and when you click this you'll be seeing a small car moving yeah it's 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 completely amazing but uh, there is a slight bug because when you will be tapping this uh, a second full a second uh, list item or I should say yeah uh, again car in mission will be shown so it's not showing anything else uh, so uh, we can fix this of course I want to show you a uh, date that it can change by tapping tab dot SWF tap dot SWF press control enter or you can test the movie by uh, pressing control mm, test movie here you can click here uh, when you tap any of the button you'll see that uh, we are having the tap SWF file but we are not able to load the second car animation file so we can fix this by adding a little code so it's e dot whatever your name of the uh, argument was or parameter oh. target dot selected item dot data and then semicolon press control s save the movie and press control enter now when you click tapping you have the both the option to select any of them congratulations in this way you can uh, load as many as SW file in your single flash file and you can choose this all using action script again a big thanks for 199 subscribers I hope when you're watching this video it will be like 200 subscribers if you have any uh, questions regarding this just post down below comment <coughs> thanks for watching the video please do subscribe if you like it